<clears throat> okay, in this video, we're going to look at how to model railing on a curved surface using adaptive components and and massing environment. Um, you can you can also make it flexible so that you know it adapts to the different uh, you know curve radius, or you can also make it so that you can have a different um, you know, parameter to control the railing heights or or railing, you know, rail radius or post radius. So let's have a look at uh, look at um, in detail how to model this. So first of all, we need to start with a new uh, mass component to model the curve surface. So we start with the conceptual mass, select metric mass, and <coughs> in the metric mass on this surface, just um, model a quick arc with the radius of uh, I'm going to choose you can also make this parametric actually and then I'm going to go in the front view and just move this guy down something something like this you can attach these I'm going to now you can, let's just go back to the 3d view you can create select solid surface so that's your curved surface while you are here it is important to lock the curved surfaces so that this both hand stays um, you know uh, with the same radius just in case if you parameterize this radius now the next step is to divide the surface and in, in this instance, I'm going to use a um, uh, rectangular, rectangular pattern, but you can use a half step pattern as well. Um, so let's just uh, keep U and V grid and make this U1 and V as a fixed distance. You can make these guys parameters, parameterize as well so that you can flex them using you know parameters but I'm going to make them fix so this is 1500 by just one now we need to create a railing adaptive component that adapts to this surface so now let's go to new and <clears throat> click on family and this time we are going to select a curtain panel pattern based and it takes a bit of time and this time <coughs> so what we are going to so we we keep this as I said we keep this rectangular pattern you could use half pattern um, but we we're going to uh, use a rectangular for this exercise now what we need to do is we need to add a few reference points on these four adaptive points so let's just add reference points one by one select these guys and add reference points one by one and that's done now select four reference points and and control their height offset by a parameter called let's say rail height for this exercise you can name it uh, whatever you like and then let's go into that and then make it 2000 right so now we got these four points controlled by uh, rail parameter uh, sorry rail height parameter now the next step is to create posts and uh, the rail element now you could create this in here or you can create a, a, a generic adaptive component so for this exercise i'm going to create a generic adaptive component and then nest it into this curtain uh, panel by pattern so you go to file new and use this generic model adaptive component and in here you can just uh, draw just draw those two points make them adaptive and then uh, draw reference plane 3d sorry reference line 3d point to point and then place well, you can place another point here on this line select this point and then make its reference plane visible and then draw a, set this plane draw a circle on this plane and um, 
you can make that radius parametric again I'm not going to spend time making the parametric uh, so I'll just show you the concept uh, select that circle select line create form boom so we got that we got that done now let's load that into the curtain wall a pattern curtain panel by pattern and then connect dot to dot adaptive point to this point four points you can see it it's just and you can also connect oops and you can also connect these guys here and these guys here okay so that's our railing family let's just load that into family 3 which is our original surface select that surface pull down and select this family which we just created and you can see it gives us this um this warning saying there are identical elements that's because you know this um, there are overlapping posts here but um, i wouldn't worry about that too much the concept here is to how to model um railing on a curved surface using adaptive you know uh, surface now uh, you can see here how to model that and then now if we if we select this edge and click on edit profile here this guy I'm going to parameterize this so that we can see that how it flexes and I hope it works because sometimes it just breaks and and this time let's see it works boom and you can see that it's flat now and you can change the radius to let's say 50,000 and it flexes it's just the error about identical components but you can see the concept here so yeah this is how you model you can also you can extend this concept to apply you know different radius for the rails and posts so in here in this family you can see that i have rail radius so i can change it to 50 and it changes to 50 so this is this is i hope you enjoy this and you learn something from this goodbye okay,